What's up guys, Andy here with another episode of Tap Lab. This time coming at you from Twitter in the new Twitter update. So we're gonna check it out and I'm gonna do a little review, show you some of the new stuff and let you know what I think. So here we are on the new home screen. Right away you can see that there's some UI updates like a refresh and it's a little bit different experience. The biggest difference is that your profile is in this sidebar over here. So you can swipe over or you can tap this icon in the top left with your avatar. And this will take you to some of your profile details. Now to access your profile, you would tap profile in the sidebar. And this takes you there rather than how it used to be with your profile icon down in the tab bar in the bottom. So we can see everything is pretty similar. The avatars have been updated to be circles now. So we got a nice circle there rather than the square with the rounded corners before. You can still go to all the same tabs, tweet replies, media, likes, all the same type of stuff. Let me go back to the home screen. All of the icons are new, they're simpler, they're just outlines. And actually now they all update in real time before you would have to pull down to refresh. As do are now, they would just update in real time as it gets a like or a retweet, which is pretty cool. If we look here at Fousey in the middle, you can see that the comments and retweets and likes are going up live. We can still tap on a tweet to get to the details or tap the arrow in the top right of a tweet to get some more options there. I'm just gonna cancel. So I'm gonna swipe back to the sidebar real quick. And another thing you'll notice is this icon in the bottom left, which will turn on night mode and back to the normal mode. So that's pretty nice that that's easy to switch. We also have the Twitter code down here in the bottom right, which you can tap on. And then you can tap the icon in the top right to save that and share it with people. It works just like snap codes, but it's just not really commonly used in Twitter. We can also tap the three dots in the top right to add more accounts or switch accounts. You can also just tap on the account icon to switch now. So that's pretty cool. Down in the bottom, we have the search tab. So this will take you to trending items and moments. Moments are still downplayed down here. Another thing I really like is the hierarchy in this update. You can see that we have like these title bars that are a bolder text. So it adds some hierarchy there. It's also on the home screen. We can hold down on the search icon in the bottom to bring up the keyboard, or we can still tap in the search field in the top and search Twitter to find what we need. We have the bell icon and the tab bar on the bottom, which is our notifications. So we have all and mentions, just like before. And then we have messages on the bottom, which shows our inbox and requests, just like before. When you tap tweet to tweet in the top right, it's very similar to before. We got a normal tweet, a camera, we can search for GIFs, we can do a poll, or we can add a location. We can swipe through our photos here to pick one. We still have 140 characters. So that's about all there is to the new Twitter update. It's more of a user interface refresh. They changed a couple things around with the profile and the sidebar, so that's pretty interesting. I think it looks good, but I still want to see them do a larger update where they make media and videos and photos and stuff like that more of a focus, maybe give it its own tab. So that's all for this one. I hope you found this video helpful. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you think of the new Twitter update. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe for a new video every single day. Also, give me a follow on my other social media. I'll link them down below. My other YouTube channel, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Snapchat, all of that. I'll see you guys next time.